You can still hit the farmer's market in Salem, even in the winter time and the fall. And we're joined by Susan McLean right here. And you're going to be making an acorn squash dish. You brought a couple, though, to show yes. us. Uh, first off, what did you do over here with the squash? So we're prepping a squash to make an edible fondue. So we just take your acorn squash. And depending on the size of the squash, either cut it in half or just slice off the top. And to keep it level in the bottom of your pan, just slice off the bottom a little bit. And then what we've done is we've uh, combined a cup of cream, two cups of cheese, and one uh, cup of cork cheese. And so you can use any good melting cheese. For the cheese, we used a Fontina cheese from the market. And you're going to mix that all together. And you're going to add a little nutmeg. And then you'll season it with some salt and pepper. And you'll also season a, your acorn squash with some salt and pepper. And then you're just going to take some and scoop it in. And what's so great, Susan, is that you create these uh, lovely recipes from items that you can buy right there at the at farmer's the market. market, and you put them on the website as yes. well. Yes, so it's on our website, Salem, New Hampshire, SalemNHFarmersMarket.org, and just look for the recipes. Um, and then um, we'll take some cheese and sprinkle it on the top. And then you bake it in the oven at 400 for about an hour. You just want it to get nice and tender. And bubbly. And, and we bubbly. have it over here. So, and you cut up some bread, is that right? Yes, yeah, so we grilled some bread and we have some fresh apples. And the skin itself is also edible, so just scoop it away and enjoy. That looks just delicious. And I know you created this other roasted vegetable dish with the acorn squash. Tell us what else is yes, in there. Yes, so very simply, it's just uh, roasted acorn squash with some Brussels sprouts that we can still get from the market and some maple glazed pecans and a little bit of maple syrup to help give it that, that yummy flavor. And then to make it a more hearty dish, we added some sea salt and sage sausage and some, some sautéed kale. That's wonderful. And for people that aren't familiar with the farmer's market there in Salem, what kind of items can you get there besides your cheese and some of the, uh, the produce? So there's lots of things at the market. There's granola, there are pastries, there are breads, there are jams and jellies, um, cutting boards, uh, uh, items for your pet. Um, and we have four to five farmers who are still offering plenty of produce. Um, we still also have fresh lettuce available. So great for, uh, produce and also items yes. maybe for the gift stocking, baskets. gift baskets, right? Absolutely. And tell people where they can find the farmers So market. we are at the Mary Fisk School, which is exit 2 off of 93, 14 Main Street. And we're open on Sundays from 10 to 2. All right, Susan, thank you so much. And the website as well? Is SalemNHFarmersMarket.org. You always have some great recipes Thanks there. Thanks so much. We appreciate it every time you come in. Thanks so much. And we'll be back.